going to start with them. <laughs> I know, it's pretty hard to. <laughs> okay, go sit down, sweetie. You may be seated. Go sit down. Go sit down. Right, so the whole secret is to take a deep breath and talk slow. <laughs> Matt and Cheyenne, today is your wedding day, and your family and friends have gathered together to celebrate with you this momentous event in your lives. Today they will hear your vows and share with you this joyous and solemn occasion. In the future they will be there to support and advise you in this marriage, the most important obligation you will ever swear to uphold. Marriage is love, patience, and giving. There's caring and faith, openness and honesty, thoughtfulness and truth. As you grow to understand each other, your understanding of yourself will grow as well. Marriage is friendship and respect. It's the willingness to accept your partner's qualities and differences, their weaknesses and their strengths. Marriage is a promise made. A lasting, successful and happy marriage is a promise kept. Again and again, and again. Who presents this woman in marriage to this man? I do. I now call upon you both in the presence of these witnesses to repeat after me. Let the bride say, I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment any lawful impediment why I, Cheyenne Echo Frey why Cheyenne Echo Frey may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Matthew Edgar Raymond Leplat to Edgar Raymond Matthew Edgar, Matthew Edgar Raymond <laughs> Take a breath. I am Right. So Matthew Edgar Raymond LaPlante. Matthew Edgar Raymond LaPlante. Let the groom say, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Matthew Edgar Raymond LaPlante. That I, Matthew Edgar Raymond LaPlante. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Cheyenne Echo Frey. To Cheyenne Echo Frey. Let the groom continue. I call upon all those persons present. I call upon all those persons present. To witness that I, Matthew Edgar Raymond Laplante. To witness that I, Matthew Edgar Raymond Laplante. Do take you, Cheyenne Echo Frey. Do take you, Cheyenne Echo Frey. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Wife. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances or experiences. In whatever circumstances or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Let the bride say, I call upon all those persons present. I call upon all those persons present. To witness that I, Cheyenne Echo Frey. To witness that I, Cheyenne Echo Frey. Do take you, Matthew Edgar Raymond LaPlante. Do take you, Matthew Edgar, Edgar Raymond LaPlante. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances or experiences. In whatever circumstances or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. As no impediment was declared or admitted, I require you to give answer to these questions. Do you, Matt, promise to give to this woman the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding? Will you share with her equally the necessities of life and respect the dignity of her own personal rights? I do. Do you, Cheyenne, promise to give to this man the love of your person, the comfort of your companionship, and the patience of your understanding? Will you share with him equally the necessities of life and respect the dignity of his own personal rights? I do. Cheyenne and Matt have written their own vows 
and they will say them to each other now. In first, honey. In first. Try it first. <laughs> Hi, I'm Psycho. Marry me? <laughs> when I ask the universe for my ideal man, I ask for someone just like my grandpa. And I got a wonderful man just like both of my amazing grandpas. I was a young, new mom, and I thought I was going to be single for a long time. And then you walked into our lives. Not only have you loved and accepted me for all that I am, you have loved and accepted Lucas as your own. It is said that humans were born with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces, but Zeus split them in two, condemning them to look for their other half. I am so lucky to have found my other half so young in life so that we can grow old together and all that jazz. I promise to always love you for who you are, an amazing, loving, and caring man with a strong sense of duty and honor and responsibility. You always put our family first and make sure to have everything we need. I promise to keep doing the little acts of love. I promise to keep making sure that you know you are always loved and supported and to help make the days not so long and hard. May you live a long and healthy life so that I can live with you. Forever and always, all of my love. Cheyenne, you always were terrible with first impressions. <laughs> <laughs> but, it didn't take long with your stubbornness and determination for me to fall in love with you. You give me every everything I could ever want in life. Happiness, joy, two beautiful kids. One of them you just kind of came with. <laughs> but you're the most supportive person I have ever met. And I couldn't imagine my life without somebody uh, like you. You complete me in every way, shape I could possibly want. And I hope that you will continue to support me for the rest of our days. Forever and always. Renault May we have the rings, please? Declared these wedding vows, let the groom place the ring on the ring finger of the bride's left hand and repeat after me Cheyenne, I give you this ring. Cheyenne, I give you this ring. So that you may wear it. So that you may wear it. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and my commitment to you. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. Let the bride say, I accept this ring. I accept this ring. As a symbol of your love and commitment. As a symbol of your love and commitment. Let the bride place the ring on the ring finger of the groom's left hand. And repeat after me, Matt, I give you this ring. Matt, I give you this ring. So that you may wear it. So that you may wear it. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. As a lasting reminder of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and my commitment to you of my love and my commitment to you. Let the groom say, I accept this ring. I accept this ring. As a symbol of your love and commitment. As a symbol of your love and commitment. Matt and Cheyenne, you have consented in marriage. You have declared your solemn intention in this company before these witnesses and in my presence. You have exchanged these rings as the pledge of your love to each other Please join hands to accept one another. By the authority vested in me by Her Majesty's Government of the Province of Alberta, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now enjoy the first kiss of your loving marriage. Now, kissing is an excellent thing, but we still have paperwork. <laughs> we will be back. Always paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't put the thing on the table. Oh, oh shit. I thought that was for the, uh, I found it. Oh, my fault. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Turn it off. Are you sorry?
Thanks, Stacy. I saw them sign. Right. And just make sure I spelled your name right. Yeah. Your address is correct. It is, yeah. Post code and phone number. Uh, yeah, you saw the sign. So you heard them say what I asked them to say. Yeah. You saw them sign. So you need to verify with your signature. So family and friends, I have the honor to present to you Matt and Cheyenne Frey. <laughs> Corbin, you're so fast. <laughs> I love that you altered the dresses to go short. I love it. Well, the idea. Yeah.
Disney movie that was filmed um, here at the park a few years ago called Togo. It's on Disney Plus and they filmed some scenes um, in Prince House. Is it called Togo here? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm just some of it. So there's a scene where they're in the Prince House. But yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty exciting. I like that. Um, so they, um, they had all the husky dogs because it was about dog sledding and um, they were supposed to have a scene where the dogs were chasing each other up and down the stairs in the prince house. But again, they could not get these dogs to cooperate and they couldn't get them to do what they needed. And I think they had to cut the scene. It's a ghost light! They needed and uh, I think they had to cut the scene from the script. <laughs> so, so watching that movie to see the scene filmed here yes. would not show any. Well, they do have they do have some scenes in the prince house, but that particular scene with the dogs, I guess, couldn't get done. But uh, yeah, I haven't actually seen the movie myself, but now I, I really want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so we'll make our way this way. It is it's like a family tree. Bring the funk back. back, back. 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 back.